Hi guys, welcome back to this series on pivot tables. In the previous video, we talked about pivot charts. In this video, I want to talk about calculated fields. So remember that this data set was used car sales. We had eight fields and about 150 cars. We started summarizing and analyzing this data set with a pivot table, which made it really easy to try different variations of different fields and see how they're related to each other. We used quite complex looking pivot tables which packed a lot of information and then some fairly simple ones like the one we're looking at right now. Then we drove an actual pivot chart off of the pivot table and we played around with the different op uh, options with the pivot chart. Uh, we also learned about slicers and uh, how they're interactive and make kind of like a very dashboardy feel to an Excel spreadsheet. So here you can actually combine all of these and you can actually see the pivot table updates and the pivot chart updates according to my selections in the pivot chart. So if you missed any of those videos, you need to go back and watch this series because each of these builds on the previous. In the first video, I start by just talking about the motivations of why to even do a data, why to even do, use a pivot table to analyze our data set and what our data set was about. Okay, so I could remove this slicer and we could start learning about calculated fields. So a calculated field is a field that doesn't exist in your data set. So here we had eight fields, but you want to include in your pivot table and it's going to be derived off of another column so another field so for us for example I have the price of cars but let's say I want the price plus tax now you see it's here already because I already created for testing purposes but we're gonna create this together okay so price plus tax it's gonna be the price of a car times tax and then plus the price of the car. So we can actually do that in one shot. So let's just say our tax rate is 8%. So we're gonna do, we're gonna create this new field called price plus tax, which is gonna be price times 1.08. So how do we do this? So first off, let me just get rid of our values field. So we end up with a kind of shell of a pivot table and a shell of a pivot chart. But don't worry, in a moment we're going to be able to uh, update this with the price plus tax, which is more useful to me than just the price, let's say. Okay, so how do I do this? I go up to my pivot tools, I click analyze, and in the calculations group, I see fields, items, and sets. Let's click on this. Click calculated field, and first thing is give this a name. So this is going to be price plus tax that's going to be our name next in the formulas make sure you start with equals then you can click on price double click and then multiply so times 1.08 which is our tax rate okay click add and you'll see it's a new field click OK and Excel automatically adds it as you can see, it's checked in the pivot table fields and it automatically adds it into the values and it automatically keeps it as sum. Okay, so we'll just leave those as default. If I want to get rid of this, that's fine. If I want to add it back, we know how to do that. Okay, so what am I looking at here? I'm looking at a pivot table that looks very similar to what I started this tutorial with except now it's we're actually looking at the price plus tax and not just the price in addition you could see that we're our pivot chart was also updated so now we're looking at a column which is the sum of price plus tax and not just price anymore i think we were looking at average price before so now this is plus tax so this gets updated now I can, you remember, I can change these fields and I can get variations on my pivot chart and my pivot table as well, depending on what you're after. I can also include slicers 
and kind of start really building up a dashboard of sorts. So here's a couple slicers and a pivot chart. So if you kind of play around with this a bit, we're looking at year 2000, red cars. I could look at the year 2000 to 2010, black and blue cars like this. Okay, oh, sorry. 2000 to 2010, black and let's do that again. I'm holding shift, selecting 2000 to 2010, and then I'm going to select black and blue cars. There we go. Okay, so not only is my pivot table showing only these selections, my pivot chart is always also only showing 2000 to 2010 black and blue card values. I'm looking at the calculated field this time though, price plus tax. Okay, so at the very end, what I wanted to do is put together a few things that we've learned. We've learned the basics of creating a pivot table, playing around with the field list, and dragging fields between the areas and how that changes things. We learned about subtotals, grand totals, how to group, especially dates. So we threw dates and we grouped them. How to create slicers and what their use could be. How to create pivot charts. And then finally, how to put these things all together and make uh, an interactive informative dashboard that is live and someone can actually play around with and get the information that they require from okay so I think pivot tables are a super useful tool I'll continue adding additional tutorials to this series on pivot tables as I have time to do but for now we have a good four to five videos that should show you basically a good chunk of the possibilities in pivot tables. So I hope this was helpful. Continue watching. Subscribe to my channel, Jalea Academy. Comment, like, and share. And make sure to check out my 400 plus tutorials I have on my channel on other topics. Till next time, have a great day and thanks for watching.